Hello everybody, welcome to MBGM. Today we are going to discuss about RS232 to TTL converter module. Now, this module is used whenever there is an RS RDB9 connector, we use RS232 protocol. Now, uh, the basic standard ones that we use are the USB cable that comes with, uh, that is data cable that can connect from our laptop to mobile can transmit data or receive data perfectly maximum of about 9 feet beyond that it cannot travel or there may be a corruption it is not guaranteed now what makes this model uh, very reliable is that the data can be transmitted up to 50 feet that means the range has been increased and there will be no corrupted data now first of all where can we get this modules you can get from anywhere where where from the uh, internet or in your local electronic shops now let's see the specifications first this module usually has a mix to 3 to 3 ic's which is used to convert our data from 12 volt uh, or 36 volt to 5 volt that means that can be interfaced with our microcontroller as a microcontroller cannot uh, receive data that has voltage levels more than 5 volt or max to max 5.5 volts. No, the operating voltage for this module is 3.3 to 5.5 volt. It can be used with many microcontrollers and microprocessors. It operates up to 1250 kilobits per second. No. Every site or uh, every data that you go through the data uh, on the internet will show you that operating voltage is 3.3 to 5.5 volt, but it is not usually so. Why? Let's go through the data sheet first, then you will understand why I'm telling you this. Now, this is the data sheet of Max 32YC, and let's just go to the connection diagram. You can go through the maximum ratings and everything in this data sheet. But we are not concerned as of right now. Each unit, I told that you can only use 3.3 volt with this uh, module, is because of these four capacitors. Now they have given you the capacitor values that you should connect to this uh, module. That is, if you want to. Uh, if you give a supply voltage range of 3.3 volt plus or minus 0.3 volt then you have to use all the capacitors that is 100 and of it that means this all c1 c2 c3 4 should be 100 and of it as we are using arduino we will give it can give 3.3 volt and 5 volt but if you give 5 volt to this module the max 3 to 3 ic will heat up why? Because you can, as you can see, that 100 nanofarad capacitor is, is for 3.3 volt. For 5 volt, it is 47 nanofarad as C1 capacitor and 330 nanofarad as C2, C3, C4. That means this capacitor is 47 nanofarad and rest of these capacitors are 330 nanofarad. If you want, uh, if you don't know where to use or what, uh, what would be the supply range. They also give you the table that is if you want to give a supply range of 3 volt to 5.5 volt then c1 should be nano, 100 nanofarad and c2 c3 c4 should be 470 nanofarad that means this should be 100 nanofarad and the rest of the capacitors should be 470 nanofarad you can use these ceramic capacitors or electro capacitors but we are going to use ceramic capacitors ceramic disc capacitors This is the important point because I have destroyed my many modules because of this. After that, I have gone through the data sheet. Now the module is working perfectly. Now let's go to the connection diagrams. This is the male connector of DB9 connector, which is usually coming out from the RS232 cable or DB9 cable. Now, 
while interfacing it with Arduino, you should connect it to 5V and ground. And TX RX pin we have chosen as 2 and 3. You can use it uh, the default 0 and 1 pin, it's up to you. But I have used TX RX pin as pin 2 and pin 3. We are not going to discuss these pins as these are the other uh, tra transmitter receiver module in the Max232 IC. But in this video, we are going to use only these four pins. Now, keep in mind that this circuit should have 220 nanofarad, uh, two 220 in parallel and connected it parallel to C2 capacitors. Same as we are going to use it as C3 and C4 capacitors. As you can see here, these are the 220 nanofarad capacitors or you can use 470 nanofarad capacitor as a single capacitor and just remove the 100 nanofarad capacitor from C2, C3, C4 and attach it to C2, C3 and C4. Otherwise, the IC will get hot. This is the simple diagram. Now, as far as the program is concerned, I have included a software serial library. I will make RXPX spin 2 and 3. I begin the serial communication. That is our baud rate will be 9600. I have just kept a simple uh, project that is if I give 1 to 5, respective lights will be on. We will get a uh, serial data displayed on the serial monitor. Afterwards, I will show you that. And when I give a common 6, then all the lights will be off. I already uploaded the program. Like, I don't know. But you can just upload it again. See that what is the com port. And uh, I'm uploading the code. Now the code has been uploaded. This is usually the circuit that uh, is the circuit I'm using. I connected an RS232 cable to the module and to see the data on a computer, I used an USB to RS232 converter. Now let's just plug in the module. COM10 is our module because COM8 COM8 is used to give power to our Arduino and COM10 is connected to USB to TT uh, to our USB to RS232 converter so I am just going to let's change now our board rate will be 9600 and it may auto script on it just send it the data But uh, our COM port was COM8 and COM10. So just I have changed. You should just check it in the uh, device manager. Opening the serial monitor and send pressing one. See. The data is communicated from RS, uh, USB to RS232 mod, uh, goes to RS232 module and to Arduino and Arduino sends the serial data pack that is light one. You can also send another data or lights off. Light 4 on, light 5 on. This is the simple program. In this way, the RS232 module gets interfaced. But keep in mind that you have to attach this 470 nanofarad to C2, C3, C4. If you want to use a wider range that is 3 volt to 5.5 volt, otherwise the IC will get hot and you will not know why.
you can also use one microfarad capacitor is up to you but minimum the capacitor value should be 4 centi nanofarad not less than that that's all in this video if you have any questions please comment please do like share and subscribe as it will help me grow mm -hmm.